Good morning. Good morning. Up oh, bright and early today yeah. in, where are we? Port of Ferry. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, just about to go for a little, little walk in the woods. This ferry is really busy. It just keeps going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, and there's always cars queuing, but it is, uh, what's the word, rush hour. Yeah. We've even got school kids going on there. Yeah, a load of school kids been on there. <laughs> so we're trying to find out how to get into these woods. There's a circular walk around there, about a mile and a half, just to wake us up a bit. Just been checking out the ferry prices. Uh, Ten pound, Mazzy. Yeah, I think we could do that. <laughs> Over here, I think. Ten pound for a, well, six metres to eight metre vehicle. One pound each if you just want to go as an adult across there. It's good though because it saves, you're saving ten pounds worth of diesel going all the way round. Well, I won't say ten pounds worth, but you do save about an hour in driving. Yeah. It just takes you off the peninsula and back on the proper mainland part. Yeah, I don't know where this walk goes. We don't know how to get to it. This could turn into a bit of a disaster. This is a little bit odd. Yeah, we weren't expecting to find this. We're in a, a motorhome park up. I don't know if it's still in use. The gate's locked, there's nobody in here. You've got little electric points here. It all looks very old. To be honest, I'm not, I'm even, not, sure. Sure. I'm not even sure we're supposed to be in here, honey. They had all signs CCTV on the gate there. I think we're allowed in here. Do you? I do. I think the walk starts here and it goes up there somewhere. We're totally lost. I'm thinking if we can't get through here, Mazzy has walked over. All the gates have been padlocked for some reason. Yeah, I don't get it. There is a path over the other side there, look. So should we go round? Let's go round. More walking? Yeah. Can't we just climb over the wall? <laughs> but that's what we're doing, we're going for a walk. <laughs> Silly. Do you want to go on the swings first? I do not want to go on the swings, no. What do you think? I think we can go over there, Mazzy. This, you know, I don't know why all this suspense stuff. Don't get it. I don't know why we're parked all the way over there when we could have parked in here <laughs> yeah. and started from here. <laughs> Yay! Must be it. Really? Road walk walking trail. It, pro it promotes peace and reconciliation. Yeah, but then look at the sign above us. <laughs> what? The yellow one. You must not enter this site. Yeah, if you've got oh, that's symptoms. Oh, right. Okay. Well, this will be good. First thing I'm noticing, Mazzy. Yeah? All the leaves are brown and the sky is grey. Oh, We're God. going for a walk on a very cold day. Check out this tree, Mazzy. What? Miss one of you? Yeah. Now, I would class that as a gnarly tree. Would you agree? Well, it's a gnarly tree. Well, that was my question I was going to say. Do you know what gnarly means? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Can anyone tell me the difference between a gnarly tree and a normal tree? What do you mean? Why have you even said it if you don't even know what you're saying? No, I think gnarly it usually means like uh, a tree with character and bits and bobbles coming off it and stuff. It's gnarly. But I don't know what gnarly means. Someone tell us in the comments, please. Is that a gnarly tree? Are all trees gnarly? If you had a gnarly tree, what would you call it? You're a bit gnarly, really, aren't you? <laughs> bit of character, bit knobbly, bit weird, bit unusual, <laughs> but lovely. You just keep walking, you. Yeah. <laughs> How cheeky. <laughs> I just found that funny. I don't know why. <laughs> Mazzy saw a tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's a saw tree. Oh, this walk is an absolute disaster. I yeah. think it was meant to go all the way around here. There's like trees at the top of this field and go down there and come out down there. We've been going for a few hundred metres and the van's here. How has that work 
out at all. I don't know, but I think we're going to have to walk past the van <laughs> yeah. to get back off this path oh, and yeah. then walk back to the van. I think it's a complete disaster. I love today. It's really autumn-y today. It's windy horrible. and No, it's lovely. It's a cold, cold morning. It was dark when we woke up. I was dark. up at half six today. You were snoring away. <laughs> so there we have it, the end of his walk. Can't beat a good 300 metre walk in the morning. <laughs> Stretch your legs. We'll have to find somewhere else. I don't know what happened. We will have to find somewhere yeah. else. That was rubbish. There was somewhere else, wasn't there? We had in mind. Oh, yeah. Um, it was nine pounds. Was over nine pounds to go for a walk. Yeah, I didn't realise. <laughs> it was castle something, it was like a bird watching. Nature reserve. Lakey thing. Yeah. Oh, no way, we're paying nine pounds to go for a walk. That's disgusting. You had to pre book as well or something. You had to pre book to turn up, yeah. It was free to members, so I think it's like a bird watcher's paradise type place. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's get out of here. We've brought you to the wells. It says wells. I don't know why it says wells when it's a well. Oh, there's a tree there as well. A co cootie tree, is it? One of them trees with ribbons and stuff on, yeah? Yeah. So it's a, a well. This has been here since the 7th century. Uh, Saint Cooey! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what it's called, Saint Cooey's <laughs> well. Um, C double O E Y. Cooey, cooey. Um, yeah, he put this here all that time ago, and people have been coming ever since. Apparently, the Norse there was a church around here, and uh, the Norse pirates came and I don't know what we look at. Well, this don't, I'm not seeing a well, are you? No. It's more like a fireplace. <laughs> this is very old. Oh, there's some papery thing in there. This is a bit strange. Where's the well then? I don't know. I see running water down here. Yeah, there's there. water down there. There must be a well oh, down there's here. there's a path. Oh, and a path, a path. Oh, and loads of gnarly trees. Maybe it is quite a lot of wells, Mazzy. That's one of them there. It says get a drink. So if you'd like to have a drink of that. Oh, no, Charles. No, it'll do you good, Mazzy. No, there's nothing wrong with me. Apparently, that <laughs> well there cures uh, dehydration. I drink plenty of water, it's you. You don't ever drink water. Yeah, but you don't No, drink, come on. You don't drink holy cooey well water, do you? <laughs> no, Charles, no. No, that's... I can't believe there's a sign saying drink. As if but then a... you have got this one. Anyone drink? <laughs> ah, right, so we have been warned. We have been warned. Yeah, I'll have a drink. It could cure things, Mazzy. Saying cooey, put this here for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> that's not drinking, that's tasting. I don't feel any different, I'll be honest with you. Hey? Eyes, Mazzy, there's one here oh, for your eyes. eyes. <laughs> I've got really yeah, bad eyes. Go for it. I need some of this stuff. Well, I've still got my contact lenses in, but when I take them out tonight, hopefully I'll have clear vision without needing my contact ah. lenses. Fantastic. Well, Smells of cow muck. Ew. I can smell cow muck. Okay. What's this one? Oh, wash. Oh, yeah, you need that as well. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go for a quick wash. Behind the ears. I'll tell you what, I feel a lot better, actually. It's invigorating. Saying cooey! Came up with a really good idea here. Look at all these. <laughs> Look at the dirty masks hanging off there. Oh, oh these masks, are yeah. Good. That's disgusting. Yeah, a very interesting place. Yeah. So it is wells. There's three. Well, I don't know how they can call it three wells, really, because it's just one stream, isn't it? Should we take a walk down that little path? What, downhill? Yeah. Got to go back uphill, you know? Yeah. We won't know till we get there, will we? It's not going anywhere, Mazzy. I don't know. Stick with it. We're just getting further and further away from Van. <laughs> don't be silly. There's a path for a reason. There's no reason to have a path here. It doesn't lead anywhere. 
No, we can't go any further, Mazzy. Can't we? No. Why? Waterlogged. Waterlogged path, that's the end of the road. Never mind, let's turn back. You're happy about that, aren't you? Yes. Lovely place, though. Yeah. So we had a little competition for the children. Mazzy set it up. Yeah, I come up with the idea. And um, congratulations to all those who entered. Why? Two thirds of them lost. Did they? Yeah, you had to guess which pitch number we were on on the caravan site. It was either number 16, number 9 or number 8. Um, quite a lot got it right, actually. Would you like to read out yeah. the winners, Mazzy? They're supposed to all be children, but I'm guessing there's a couple of adults <laughs> thrown in here. Um, by the way, it was pitch 16, you didn't say? Pitch 16. <laughs> so, today's winners is Emily, Evie Bell, age 5, Tommy, age 10, Caitlin Doherty, Casey James, Harrison Hamilton, age 5, Rowley, Caden Hicks, age 8, and Matt Cudley. Congratulations, kids! We're going to have to well do another done. one, aren't we? Come up with something else again for the kids. Yeah, that was too easy. Too easy. It yeah. needs to be an harder one. An harder yeah. one. How, how many leaves? <laughs> how many leaves are on this one? No, that's too hard. We'll come up with something in between and we'll, we'll get back to yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. So that's St Cooey's. Well, uh, if you're going to come in a motorhome, be warned, it is a very, very... What's the word? Treacherous road coming up. Not suitable. <laughs> Not suitable. I'd advise you to just park at the bottom of the hill. There's like a hill like that. Yeah. And it's very narrow. But I did it anyway. Um, you can't get in here. Lots of tractors on the way as well. Yeah. Uh, you want to go up the steps? Would make a good park for night, actually, we were saying. Very peaceful here, because you're in the middle of nowhere. On the end of a peninsula. But uh, we're not stopping here tonight. I'm just recording. Why? <laughs> I don't know really. I just wondered if anyone could tell us from Northern Ireland, um, do you not recycle cans here? Yeah, so we've stopped at a few <laughs> recycle points and there's no can ones, just bottles, which is unusual. Yeah. So we don't know what to do with us cans. Um, right, what we've decided to do, we tried to go to that Slans, I think it's called Slans Graveyard. Where is it? No, oh, it were here. It were here somewhere, but there's nowhere. There it is. Slans Graveyard. That's what we've been heading for. Nowhere to park. Not in a motorhome of this size. Nowhere near. So we're just carrying on. And what we're actually doing is just following the coastal road all the way around. To the top. That looks like quite a big town up here. Uh, what's that called? Donna, Donna Gaddy. What a lovely name, Donagadi. So we might park in Donagadi and have a look around there, but hopefully we'll see something to film up there. Yeah, because this day isn't going too well, it's is not, it? It's not going as planned, but never mind. Yeah. We're still happy. Yeah. And it's still only 10 o'clock. Yeah. We've just been saying that Donagadi, Donagadi? Donagadi. Donagadi <laughs> sounded really familiar. Yes. But it's just come to me. I think I know where that is. I know, we, I think we've been there basically. Okay, why? I'll tell you what it was. It was the time when we first sort of arrived in Ireland and we went to the fish and chip shop and we got a load of fish and chips. No idea. And we walked down on the pier at the lighthouse and everything. I don't remember, but we could have been there before. It's If we have, that's as far as we'd have gone out of that way. I never thought we'd even come anywhere near this peninsula, but yeah, I think we've been here. It's right at the top of the peninsula, so we might have done. One thing we do like to try and do on our journey <laughs> is stay away from politics and stay away from the virus uh, talk. Yeah. It's not what we're about. No. Um, and I think it spoils videos if you keep going on about it. But look at all these stones here. It's all thanking the NHS and the key workers. They wasn't here last time we were here, were they? Well, no, because there wasn't a virus when we no, were last here. No, I know that. <laughs> but I think this is another reason why... Oh, forget it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's all local school kids have done these. No, I think just all the whole village. There's some very nice ones. Liverpool champions. Now, that's better. Just stick NHS in corner, but Liverpool champions, that's the main thing, yeah? Oh, look, me and you. 
<laughs> this is some really good ones. I like this one, this is cute. <laughs> There's a lot of effort gone into some of these. Really good, look at that. Together we can. I think it's just the effort, isn't it? The kids have gone to and the people have gone to. Mainly it's just kids. lovely. It's obviously not all kids. Look at these, mate. Yeah. Butterflies on them. Oh, I like Elizabeth's one there. Oh, I love this one. It's a doggy head. I like this one over here, Mazzy. It's a camper van. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting onto some proper artist work now. Look at that. Oh, this one's lovely. I wonder what's going to happen to them all. Maybe they'll sprinkle them all over the beach. That'd be cool. Look at this one here. Well, lady. Oh, yeah. And look. Oh, I thought that was a camper fan too. It's not, is it? No, oh, it's a school bus, I think. Very good. Very good. So, Donna Gadee. We've been here. <laughs> we have been here. I still cannot remember the place, I'll be honest with you. It's it, in our video, and the video was called In the Oldest Pub in Ireland. Because the, the oldest, oldest pub in Ireland is here. Well, a few people disagreed with that, but yeah. Well, that's what it said on the door. That's what it says on the door. <laughs> so, the only reason I recognise the place is because of where we parked. We parked in exactly the same place, and I do recognise the parking spot. We I don't remind, to, remember the place. We went to Rainey's Fish and Chip Shop. We got a huge amount of food and we loved it. I can't remember. Oh, don't you? <laughs> it's, uh, let's get onto the path. I don't feel very safe here. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm one of these, you see. You could send me on a 1,000 mile loop drive and I could just keep going round and round and round and I wouldn't recognise the places the second time I get there. You forget everything, <laughs> absolutely everything. You'd forget me if I weren't tagging along, wouldn't you? <laughs> Chris Neils, Ireland's oldest pub, 16 did we go in here, Mazzy? Yeah, we, that was the day we got the new camera and we tested out the new camera. Ah, yeah. sort of. Is it like little rooms inside? Island's oldest pub, yeah. And everyone in the comments said, that Island's oldest pub, there's an older one in Dublin and there's an older one there and there's an older yeah, one there. Yeah, probably. Ah, interesting. And apparently that's where we got fish and chips. Absolutely nothing open. Dead. It's dead. <laughs> yeah. Just like every other single village and town at the moment. Yeah. Um, we were going to go to the co-op just around the corner here to get some tea. I think we'll go to Asda or wherever it is. Oh. Okay. Um, just to pass a bit more time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you think that's clever? You like that, what? do you? What? Stormy Coffee cup. shop called Stormy Cup. Yeah. Cozy, isn't it? I just saw one around the corner called yeah. Decaf. Right. Now, if your name's D and you've got yeah. a cafe, Decaf <laughs> would be a brilliant name for your cafe, wouldn't it? You're thinking too much. <laughs> Fish and chip bar here, which is shut, but look at this. Uh, is it a beetle? Yeah. They've got their own beetle look. Completely got it all designed. They probably put food in there and deliver to people. That is brilliant. <laughs> Do like that. There's new restrictions coming into play tonight, isn't there? I thought we weren't talking about all this. No, we're talking about our travelling and is it going to affect us? Well, I hope not. Um, I think all it is, is people from one household can't go into someone else's household. But travelling, I think, is the same. But it's all over Northern Ireland. Yeah. So we have been a bit iffy, you know, should we get out of Northern Ireland? Should we get down to Republic? Um, I'm I think worried. we're all right for I'm now. I'm where the whole lot's going. I feel like the whole lot's going to go on big lockdown again. Yeah, but we're not going to get into that. No, but it, I keep worrying about where that's going to leave us. It'll leave me and you stood side by side, holding hands yeah. with a camera. Someone's looking rather beautiful this morning. In me? Yeah, you look like you're off to a party. Wow. Well, I, I just might be. <laughs> Today... Uh, the pubs reopen in Northern Ireland. Yeah! <laughs> and I remember for the last four months, Maz has been saying to me, 
Um, oh, I bet you can't wait, can you? And I can, I can, but it's you, you who wants to go yeah. to there. <laughs> because, I'll be honest, I don't have a lot of alcohol at all, do I? No, none. So, I am looking forward to going into a pub after six months, yeah. OK, well, I'm going to yeah. try and make that happen for you today. <laughs> all depends on whether I can park where I'm planning on parking, but that's for the next vlog. So, on the way to where we're going, what I'm planning on doing is taking us to a... Well, it says a sculpture park. I love things like that. You're doing this specially for me, aren't you? Yeah, I think you? it's called Belsham <laughs> Quarry, something like that. And it's pretty much on the way, so we're just going to stop there and see if it's worth looking at. And it should finish this vlog off, so yeah. let's go! I really, can I just say, I really wanted to do the sculpture, like a sculpture trail in Belfast. They have got an amazing sculptures there, but unfortunately we can't park. They're all in the city centre, <laughs> aren't they? Amazing sculptures there, and that's sculptures. right up my street, that yeah, is. Yeah, art and stuff. <laughs> yeah. They did look cool, didn't they? They did look cool. Them. They did look cool. <laughs> Hopefully this other one's going to have some nice ones as well. So yeah. let's go. Come on then. So that was another wonderful stay on the campsite. Dun Donald. Yeah. This big one here, they've been here for at least four days. Well, shall we talk about this big one, honey? No. Right, we had a bear and I said to, because he was there. Best the not talking about it, He was him, there the other day. <laughs> <laughs> he was there the other day. I said, I bet you a cup of coffee in the morning he'll be there when we get... I've got things to do, yeah? Listen, I, I won the bet! He's such a cheat. I wouldn't mind, it was only for a cup of coffee. You to make me a cup of coffee. Yeah, you were trying to get me to make you a cup of coffee in <laughs> Yeah, mind. if he was still there and I said he was. I won the bet! You would have done if, if the bet had have happened, but we didn't actually agree we on a bet. Did, we bet! We considered it. I'm not having no more of this. Um, you've been very productive this morning, haven't you, in bed? In bed? Yeah, you sorted out the van tax. Yeah, I've paid the van tax for the year. Yay! And the insurance has all been renewed too, so... You did the insurance, yeah. So we're all legal on the road. We're all legal <laughs> on the road. We've got empty toilets, empty grey waste water, full tank of water. Everything's great, Mazzy, everything's great. We've just got to get a full tank of diesel and we're set. Yeah, it lights on and it's. I think it's trying to tell us there's about 15 miles left in the tank. It's plenty. Plenty. Are you two arguing again? She told me to turn this way and now she's messed it all up. Oh. She's telling you to go right again. I we're give going up. round in circle. I give up. <laughs> In the centre of Belfast. Yeah. <laughs> the last place you want her to be stupid. East on York Street towards A12 and continue She's to, actually to stay on York Street. Making us do a U-turn, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. She. Oh, I give up. I'm just going to keep going. It's going to be difficult to see, but I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this. See this big ball there? Look, it's like a huge golf ball inside a huge golf ball. What's all that about? Anyone from Belfast tell us what it is? That's well smart. It was cool. Full tank? Full tank today, yeah. Cool. This is a posh brand new one, isn't it? What, the entire place? Yeah, the entire place. I Let think me... so. That I've never seen such a high roof on a petrol station. You're normally a bit worried that you're not going to get under it. <laughs> yeah. But this is huge. You could have our motorhome on top of each other. Quick bet. Let's bet quickly how much money, English money, it's going to cost the bill. I think eighty-seven pounds. What do you think? Quick, you got to be quick. I think. Quick. Ninety-six pounds seventy-two. Oh really? Oh, I, I don't know. Am I way off? This is totally empty as well. Is it eighty-two? No, that's it's ninety-three pounds ninety. Oh. I was looking at the 80, no, it's 82 on the diesel. Oh, yeah. Liters. Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> you want to get Bell Shaw's Quarry. I'm so excited. I think this is going to be really good. It's only small. Yeah. Which is what we want. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they've actually got really good leaflets as you're coming in, and it tells you what each sculpture is, and tells you about the path. It is an old disused quarry. So let's just crack on. Belshaw's Quarry. First sculpture, it's called Nodule. 
and it's in the shape of something to do with limestone and it's made out of limestone this was a limestone quarry what on earth are you doing do i look like it you look like a big pile of stone yeah <laughs> i like that one it's quite cute i'm loving this one mazzy because yeah, me too. it's round and i can hey, see me <laughs> hydrosphere i'm not going into details on what each one represents oh it does say there though Represents the bubbles of life, breathing oxygen, oxygenating air. Okay then, let's crack on. Bit of a like cliff face there of the quarry, and then you've got like a step, and then another cliff face of quarry. By the looks of it, we're going to be going down. Oh, are we? Yeah. Well, that means we're going back up again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving this one though, it's got a character. I'm loving the fact that they've turned a quarry into something so beautiful. Oh. Bit more art. Earth as a machine. It's like five pieces of metal. Um, it's something to, it's to represent the volcanic plates or something like that. Because you have got um, signs of a volcano going off or something. I don't know. It's like the earthquake. tectonic plates, but this is my favourite. I'm loving this. this is, uh, to me, this is lovely. It's nice, but I can guarantee your next one will be your favourite as well, and then one after that will be your favourite. <laughs> Dark Whisper. I'm not going to tell you what it represents. Why? I saw this online and I thought it was like life size. I thought it was massive, and it's not. Well, sure, mate. They can read it for themselves, yeah, Mazzy. I wanted to know. Down we go. <laughs> Where's that stride in your step this morning? <laughs> Flora and fauna. A butterfly, a few flowers and a frog. Coccolith. Yeah, it's getting a bit too arty for me now, Mazzy, I'll be honest. Let's have a look at this one down here. I'm loving this one. This one's good. This looks like all the different layers of stone. Oh, I thought it was a stack of books. In fact, it's called a geological cake. And you can see why it's got all the different marble there. Or is that marble? Or is that marble? It's Clint. Flint? Clint the Flint. <laughs> uh, it's called Tool and Waste, Man's Conflict with Flint. That's actually very good. It does look very man-like. It's made out of flint and is called Clint. What do you think it is, Mazzy? I don't know, but I'm loving the name of it. Hard labour. Go yeah. on, have a guess. What do you think it is? Well, originally from back there I thought it was a boat. Yes. Is it? No. Oh. <laughs> I thought the same. It's actually a sledgehammer. Oh. A broken sledgehammer with the handle broken. Oh, that's very um, deep, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, I love that. First thoughts? First thoughts, Mazzy. Yeah. Is it's a piece of wood and a piece of stone. Are they both sculptures? We've come out of us way to see these two. <laughs> Plate te Tonics and mini earthquake and volcanic slicing. Very artistic. Is it the same dude that did a mull? I've no idea. I'm oh, guessing it is. not. Yeah, by Patricia Crossy. I've seen her name now on several of them. I can't see her doing all of them. Maybe a lot of them. But she'll be certain people will be specialists in different materials. We've got one left to go, and then that's the end of it. That was good, I enjoyed that. The best one's still to come. A silly cow. <laughs> uh, white mountain cow, it's called. It's hollowing. When I'm talking, it's hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. It's got an echo. And it's got words on it, but I don't know what it's saying. Purring. Let's try and get one of these words, see what they're saying. World Desert. Desert. Ancient. Volcano, I see the word volcano. Oh, and tectonic plate. Welcome. Very interesting. <laughs> Look at the screws for its uh, oh, teeth. Yeah, that's good. That is brilliant. Really, really good. I'm glad we stopped here now, Mazzy. Yeah, it was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, well, nice little stop. Right, that's the end of this uh, little vlog. Yeah. 
Took us a couple of days to make this one, but uh, we got there in the end. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. A bit of a few different bits there, weren't there? Yeah. Um, catch us tomorrow, where hopefully we're going to the pub for the first time without having to have a meal. Yeah. Um, and, since March. And I'm fixing things. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Honey, what? Can I say goodbye? Thanks for watching. Please comment and hit the like button. That helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.